Good morning. I'm just making a list of things that I'm going to do today. I have to go to a photo shoot with one of my friends and then probably have dinner, late lunch, I don't know, with another friend. And then I need to put together a couple of looks for that and for um, Super Bowl. I might go to a Super Bowl party or I might stay in. I love, we're going to talk about Usher later. But yeah, I, I might stay at home just so I can be zoomed in to the TV to watch him. Because this is like a dream come true. Rihanna last year, him this year. I'm I'm like on Super Bowl halftime chokehold. Forget the game. So yeah. And now I'm gonna go make breakfast. I think I'm gonna do pancakes and maybe a piece of bacon. Maybe. Only because it's Saturday. I usually do spinach and maybe an egg white. But I think I wanna have like a real breakfast this morning. Okay, guys, here's some sensory overload for you. My refrigerator. While it's clean, it is clean. I do have a lot of stuff packed in here. So my morning routine is to do a shot of 100% cherry juice, a shot of 100% um, cranberry juice, and a spoonful of Greek yogurt. Um... Here's my hibiscus tea, but then I got this hibiscus tea from Pete's. The only thing I don't like about this is that it has sugar in it, but it was on sale. So I just grabbed a couple of them, but I like hibiscus tea for, um, I don't know, it, it suppresses my appetite. So I just drink it. So I'm going to do a piece of bacon. I rarely have bacon and treat myself today. And I'm probably gonna do a pancake. And I'm just gonna drop the hibiscus tea in here too. And this is my little tonic. I mean, I just take one dollop And that's it. All right, so here's my pancake. It came out kind of light skin. And then extra crispy bacon. What I do with my bacon, which is kind of weird, I cut all the fat off. That's why it's in pieces like this and not strips. I cut all the fat off and just cook the meat part. And then here's my um, little cocktail of cherry juice and uh, cranberry juice and hibiscus tea and my coffee. Okay guys, I'm back. I gotta do this hair, gotta do this makeup. I'm going to a photo shoot today with a friend of mine and probably dinner afterwards. And then tomorrow, there's some activities going on with the Super Bowl. So I'm trying to figure out, do I want to just stay in and watch it? Because, you know, I have to be zoomed in for Usher. I got to be zoomed in. Last year, when Rihanna performed, I didn't go to any parties because I wanted to sit in the comfort of my own home and watch. Because I love Rihanna. I love Usher. I am like in a chokehold with these halftime um, performances for Super Bowl. So yeah, let me get my outfits together. Let me show you the, the things that I'm thinking about putting together. You guys let me know what you think. I'll be back. Okay guys, so I'm gonna do my makeup real quick. I picked everything out already, so this won't be too long with me fumbling around trying to figure out what I wanna do. I'm just gonna do a pretty lightweight look. Um, yeah, my skin is looking okay, but these dark circles are the devil. So I'm going to use my Fenty um, Ease Drop 
This is like a moisturizing foundation. It blends in really well. It's, it's a little bit lighter than my skin tone, but it blends in really good. Um, all right, so what are y'all doing? I mentioned the Super Bowl earlier and Usher earlier. Are y'all watching the Usher concert with special guests, the Kansas City Chiefs and the San Francisco 49ers? Or are you guys really watching that game? I'm a sports girl. I like sports. I follow sports. I understand sports. But I'm here for Usher. Me and Usher, we go back. <laughs> I remember Usher was 16 years old on Video Soul with Sherry Carter. Let me move this back a little bit. Remember her, her and Donnie Simpson? I remember Usher being 16 years old. I was living on the South Side. And I remember looking at him and thinking, how old is he? Because he is smooth. He was so smooth and just so um, charming, personable, well-groomed, well-spoken. And I fell in love with him then, and I've always liked Usher. I have all his albums. First of all, I'm a Prince girl. Prince is my um, forever artist, my number one uh, musician, songwriter, Prince, Prince, Prince. When Prince died, to be honest, I felt like I had lost a member of my family. I was really um, sad about him, like I'm sure everyone was, but... Man, that, that was not good. That was 2016. I still remember what I was doing. A lot of people knew that I was a big Prince fan. I'm using my um, Dior concealer on these dark circles. But yeah, me and Prince, I, I, everybody knew that I liked Prince. I mean, high school, it was, it was a thing. And when he died, I was getting a massage so, of course, I was, you know, under, so to say. I was in a dark room getting worked over. And I had my phone turned off, of course. So I remember when I got up from the massage, it was still dark in the room. And, you know, the first thing we do is we grab our phones. And I had all these texts. And I'm like, and all the first one said, Prince is dead. And I remember just saying, oh, and I like dropped down. You know, I didn't like cry or anything. I just sort of dropped down like, you know, what? And then, you know, it just took me a minute to get together. And it was so strange because when I left the massage place, I remember calling my mother and I was just sort of riding in a circle. I was just riding like in a block because I, I really had to get my thoughts together. That that was a shocker. That was really sad. And I was I was sad. 2016 was kind of an interesting year for me anyway, because I was kind of going through something with a situationship that I was in. It was not a relationship. And um, 2016, I just felt sad most of 2016. And then you add Prince to it, him dying, that, that, that sucked. All right, I'm going to use the Natasha Denona. I need a nude... Um, palette. It just has mostly nude shades in here. I'm going to pretty much keep this simple. I'm thinking I'm wearing something brownish or in that in that family. So I'm just going to go with this color filigree. It's like a... Somebody's calling me. I'll call you back. I'll call you back. All right. Let me just drop this on real quick. This is such a pretty color. I'm surprised my phone didn't stop. And I need better lighting for, this is photographing okay, but I can't really see. But it's all good. So anyway, yeah, the print stuff, that, that was devastating. It really was. And that's when I kind of got back into meditating a little bit. 2016, I was kind of jacked up anyway. So I had started meditating. And um, when Prince passed away, I just, you know, uh, started, you know, meditating, just sort of trying to calm down. My nephew, 
when I think about it, I, I see why I was sad that year. It was just so many changes. You know, the, the situation that I was in, that's kind of what, what kicked it off. I was really sad about something with that. And then my nephew had left for a minute to go move with his mother because, you know, she had bought a new house and she wanted her kid there, which I get. But uh, I was used to him being there. So when he left, that was sad. I, and I remember I just cried so easily in that year. Everything just, you know, I just cried. And when he left, I remember I didn't want to make anybody feel any kind of way. But I remember I just was like crying uncontrollably over stuff sometimes. I think I was going through depression. I think it was situational depression. I think I have depression vibes anyway, but not to the point where I, you know, need to really like be treated or anything. Ever since I was younger, I always kind of felt that sad vibe a little bit, just a little bit of eat, just some sadness sometimes for no reason. And it's probably, you know, like some depression stuff. But anyway, um, when he left, I felt sad and the relationship that I was not in made me feel like doo doo, that whole situation. And then Prince dying and then like stuff at work was trying to act weird. People were acting weird. But when I tell you that, um, I remember everybody that was kind of bothering me a little bit, they were all removed. Everybody was removed from me and it was a blessing. The nephew, that wasn't a blessing because, you know, I love him and want to stay in contact with him. But anyway, he ended up coming back anyway. So whatever. But anyway, let's talk about Usher. So I'm using my Gucci um, eyebrow pencil. I use that just to fill in my eyebrows. So anyway, back to Usher, because <laughs> man, I done went off. But anyway, Usher, love him. To me, Usher is the consummate entertainer, professional, serious about his craft, good personality, comes off, you know, like a good guy, um, scandal free for the most part. I mean, there was this little incident where somebody said that he gave them herpes but <laughs> compared to Puffy, I might take the herpes because Puffy is going down. He's already down. But anyway, um, I've always liked him. I was one of the ones on Instagram lobbying for him to get the Super Bowl. He deserves it. And then there were some people who were like, Usher, Usher. You know, he like like he's old. And I'm like, you guys better quit playing. Don't play in that man's face. Don't do it. And then, you know, they want to compare him to Chris Brown. You can do the comparisons, but I'm sorry. Usher, in my opinion, has Chris faded. But, you know, I like Chris Brown okay. And, you know, Usher has always even handled that pretty smooth. When he did his Vegas uh, show, he brung Chris out. Chris wasn't getting a lot of love. Chris still doesn't get love because of that situation with Rihanna. I'm going to do my Pat McGrath um, black mascara. You know, Usher embraces him. There's no rivalry. They've done music together. Uh, the only person I have not seen Usher really play in the sandbox with is Justin Timberlake. And I don't blame him because Justin is shady as hell. Shady as fuck. Uh, I I'm not big on JT. So anyway, um, I am really looking forward to the performance. I know he's going to nail it. Uh, I've seen Usher perform about five times. I did see him in Vegas. I've seen him here in the Chicago area about four times. 8701, My, uh, My Way Tour, 8701. I think I saw him twice then. And then I saw him with the uh, tour when uh, Confessions came out, I went to see him. So I show up for Usher. Went to see him in Vegas. Uh, he's that dude. His career has always been run pretty smoothly. He has a good team behind him. Very consistent. Even when the albums weren't busting like Confession was, he still put out good material.
you know, because I have all his albums and I and I um I play them still. So Usher, quality, good dude. So I am so happy for him, and I'm probably gonna sit in my TV room and watch it, and then go to a Super Bowl party after halftime because I can't have people interrupting, you know, making noise, doing what they do. I need to be like Zoom locked in. Like Rihanna, that's my other girl. I love her. I like Beyonce. Beyonce is cool. I went to see her, but for some reason, and I'm and I guess I'm comparing, I didn't even have to bring her up. I'm sorry. But Rihanna, I resonate with her a little bit more. I love her. As you can see, I buy all her products and I just love her. She's just so smooth. Um, oh God, when she was performing last year, I was so locked in. I was like, I was a little nervous for her because Rihanna, Beyonce and Usher, those are the type of artists that you don't worry about. You know, they're going to nail it. You know, they are. Rihanna, I love her. She can sing good, but she kind of has her own vibe to where sometimes, you know, you might not know if she's going to throw down or if she's going to, you know, just be, do what she wants to do. And I was a little concerned because with Super Bowl, you got all eyes on you and I just didn't want her not to perform well and people talk shit about her because then I was going to have to go to my burner account on Instagram and start checking people. And I just didn't want that. I wanted happiness. And when she performed, this is Westman Atelier blush in the color Bichette. I use a lot of cream blush because powder blush can sort of make the skin look dry. And I use a sponge to blend it out because I just want a little bit, not a lot. So um, when she performed, I ain't gonna lie. I was sitting up there like, Rihanna, come on, girl, move a little bit. I was I was getting nervous for her like, sis, come on. You know, the, the, the music selection was amazing. They picked all the right songs. The um, transition from song to song, the bomb. I, I, I played her performance like many times over because I just loved how they did the, the transition from song to song. Her dancers were on point. But I was like, come on, sis. I don't want to have to go to that burner account and start talking shit to people because they're going to talk about you. Move. My crazy ass. Never even noticed the baby bump. Never saw it. I was so locked in that I, I, I never saw it. Didn't see it. <laughs> and my niece, Kina, texts me, is she pregnant? So I'm looking at my phone. I wrote her back. I said, who? She said, Rihanna. And I was like, pregnant? I didn't even notice the bump. I noticed the red outfit. I noticed all that, but I'm telling you, I was so locked in on the performance and girl do good and all the other stuff in the music. I didn't see the bump. I went to Instagram because Instagram is the, if you need to know anything, you don't go to Google. You don't ask your mama or your daddy. You go to Instagram. I went to Instagram. My Instagram was broke. It was just so much going on that day. I had, that, that was so funny. I did not notice the bump. And she broke the internet. There's that saying about people breaking the internet. Rihanna broke the internet with that because nobody was expecting that. <laughs> and yeah, that was fun. So Usher, I'm expecting hopefully no baby bump and a great performance. All right, I'll be back when I'm done and I'm going to do my hair. Okay, guys, I am all done. My hair did not come out well. So I think I'm just going to pull this back into maybe a ponytail. So anyway, let's get into these outfits. I have a couple places where I'm going today. I'm going to a photo shoot for one of my friends. She's a singer and she's doing a photo shoot for a single that her and her husband have coming out. And I will probably go for dinner afterwards. So I want to wear something that would be cool for the photo shoot in case I have to jump in and help with hair or, you know, just help her out a little bit. Sort of as a personal assistant. But then I still want to be able to look cute when I go for my dinner afterwards. So what I'm thinking about doing today, I have to iron these. And of course, we're working live from the ironing board. 
I have these velvet jeans by Joy. They kind of have a cargo vibe because they have the zip pockets and they have the little um, angular pockets here. And they're in this nice velvet. I've had these for a minute, but they fit. And I'm thinking about rocking these with this rugby shirt. And while this is nice and casual and comfortable, it does have a little glam with the sequence collar. I got this from J. Crew. This is so cute. And it's really different, like I said, with the um, collar. And when I look at this, this is really made really well because the material sort of changes from cotton to um, a more elegant material once it gets to this collar. So thinking about doing that, and for a bag, I'm either going to go with my little Fendi. They call this a phone bag. This is like a mini baguette. You guys have seen this before. Or I may go with my Louis Vuitton crossbody. And let me tell you guys something. My Louis Vuitton collection that I posted last week or the week before last, numbers, baby. Good numbers. Y'all like that kind of stuff. So I'll have to post more videos like that. I'll probably do... Um, my other handbags, even though I, I realized I have a lot more Louis Vuitton than I have other bags. Never even noticed it until I did that um, clip for you guys. But yeah, those numbers were good. And I still think I have something on this bag that I was trying to get off on last video. Anyway, so we're probably going to do the crossbody with uh, this ensemble. And for the boots, I'll probably go with my GOX combat boots. Or I have a pair of Christian Louboutin combat boots that are a little bit different. I might do those or I'll just probably do these. That's for today, maybe. And then another idea, um, I was thinking since I'm doing dinner, I might wanna elevate the look just a little bit. So I have these jeans that I picked up from H&M if you notice, they kind of have a mom vibe, the mom jeans. They're high-waisted, and they kind of have the billowy leg, but they taper in a little bit, and they're not that long. They kind of cut at the ankle a little bit. So I was thinking about doing these jeans with a sweater, uh, maybe this Zara sweater. I've showed this to you guys before, the orange Zara it sort of gives that Louis Vuitton vibe with the little flower. Why I don't know, I think that. Um, and then maybe like with a white tank underneath it because I want to wear my Dries Van Noten boots that I said I was going to wear last week, but I ended up not wearing them. So I think these would look really cute with these jeans because these are kind of tapered so you'll really get to see the whole boot and they're kind of short to where you'll even get to see the top of it. So I'm thinking about doing that with the orange sweater and like I said, maybe like the white tank or something underneath it. Or I could go with this other sweater. This is from Frame. This sweater kind of reminds me of the Kate sweater that everyone was spending a whole lot of money on. Child, don't do it. I got this from um, Nordstrom Rack. It's 100% cashmere. It has the billowy sleeves like the Kate one does. The Kate sweater doesn't taper in, it just stays straight. It's a cute sweater, but I'm not spending that kind of money on no sweater. So I was thinking about maybe wearing this with the tank underneath it, the tapered jeans and the boots. And then for a bag, I got something kind of new for you guys. It ain't new new, but it's new to me. I went on the Real Real and I wanted a chocolate brown or espresso uh, colored leather handbag. Now I have a Prada one, but it's so old and the material of it is not really what I wanted. I kind of wanted just like leather, leather. So I went on the real, real because I don't have any money to buy any brand new bags anymore. <laughs> At least not now. So I went on the real, real and I found this diamond baby in the rough. 
Bottega Veneta, Espresso Chocolate Brown. It's big, just big enough for me not to hate it. Because when bags get too big, I don't like them. I have a Prada that I bought about a year ago and I just don't like it. It's too big. I'm trying to figure out what I'm going to do with it. I didn't realize how big it was. This is big, but not too big. I can live with this. But I got this for an amazing price. It is, they're calling it Venta. Vintage, I'm sorry. Venta. Bottega Veneta Vintage. And it's in great shape. I did clean it up a little bit. The real, real sent it to me. And I, I was a little disappointed because it had candy wrappers in it. And that let me know that they didn't clean it out at all. I didn't appreciate that. But um, I cleaned it up. I, you know, got a wet cloth, cleaned the whole inside out. There are pin marks, but, you know, it is what it is. It's a used bag. And I wiped this joker down. I mean, there's a there's an insert in here to sort of give the bag some um, stability at the bottom. I popped that out. Luckily, you could pop it in and out. And I cleaned this bag down completely. I went and got some um, leather conditioner and polish. And I cleaned the leather real good. And I polished and shined it up. And this bag is amazing. So I'm thinking with my ensemble here, either with the frame cashmere cardigan, or even if I go with the Zara cardigan, we're going to do this Bottega bag. And for the shoes, we'll probably try the Van Norton's because I have to wear it. I haven't worn those jokers yet. So that's for today. It's either going to be either or. Now, tomorrow, we got the Super Bowl, I mean the Usher Bowl coming up. Y'all heard what I said about Usher Rain, how that's my man. All right, let's move these duds. So for tomorrow, I pretty much know what I'm wearing. We, we're not even gonna fake the funk. It's a matter of what bag and what shoes. So when I went to Vegas, baby, I got the Usher, Usher, Usher baby t-shirt. Now this t-shirt, it, it had this glitter all on it and it was so sharp. Man, I washed this. It didn't, it didn't last. The t-shirt, to be honest, it's stained. Why, I don't know. I washed it in whites. I don't know why this happened. I'm thinking maybe some of this color got on the other parts of the t-shirt. But anyway, we're going to iron this. And I'm trying to figure out, am I going to wear my Hudson jeans, my dark wash jeans, which I love because I love that trim. I think we're gonna do that look. And I'm just trying to figure out what shoes, no, what bag, let's, let's start with the bag. So this has, if you can tell, I'm gonna bring it around to you, around Usher's body, you could tell there's like a dark green, like a forest green, and you also have this like um, cognac or a brown or tan. So I could do a lot. I could do a lot with shoes and with the bag. So I think what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna step outside the box here, watch. Like Usher said, watch this. This Saint Laurent, never carry it. Don't carry it that much. I think we're gonna pull this out. Look at this, y'all. Let me come around here. You come with me. You see that green? The gunmetal pewter strap. Tell me this is not going to look cute with this t-shirt. That's going to look hot. If you a bad girl, get in the bad girl. All right. So I'm thinking of doing my YSL Hunter Green crinkle bag. What is the name of this bag? It is called the Nikki baby bag. This is so cute and the leather is good and it's green. I'm thinking of doing it with this t-shirt, of course. Thinking I am. 
And I'll go with my little jeans that I think I showed you guys last week. These are a size 28, baby. Your girl's getting in 28. And so for the shoes, because I don't own any green shoes and I don't want to have too many colors going on, once again, I'll probably just rock the GOX combat boots. So, yeah, the, that, this, okay, so I got my Super Bowl outfit together, obviously, and I might just be sitting in the house, but I'm going to go somewhere afterwards because I'm going to turn up after Usher turns up. And for today, I'll show you what I'm going to wear. So, by the time you guys see this, I'll be able to show you my Super Bowl outfit and what I decided to wear for the photo shoot. All right, guys, list comments below. Let me know what you think. Let me know, let me know, let me know. And thank you for turning in to everyday, tuning in to Everyday Fifi. Remember to like, subscribe, and tell your friends to get on over here because we got good stuff. We got good stuff. See you later. Okay, Fifi's, here's the vibe for today. I decided to go with the H&M mom jeans with the tapered hem. They are showing off my Van Norton boots, just like I told you they would. And I went with the frame cashmere cardigan. The oversized look looks like I'm not trying too hard to be fly. And I have on a tank top from Old Navy. My belt is Gucci. I went with the brown side. You can flip this belt over. It can be black or brown. I went with the brown because it goes with the buttons on my sweater. And for my bag, I'm doing the Bottega Veneta that I picked up from The Real Real. Now, my jewelry, I just did some costume jewelry and a little gold chain. And of course, you know I gotta rock my shades. I love a shade. And my scent for the day, we're going to go with the MFK Aqua Media. See you guys. These are my friends. The picture you sent in? The picture I sent of Andy, her cat. Hey guys, um, hello. Today is Super Bowl Sunday and I was going to do another segment covering my outfit of the day, my little Usher Super Bowl vibe, but I'm going to be completely transparent with you guys. I had a bit of an argument with someone in my family, a young adult that I love very much and have to deal with. Um, and it just sort of got me messed up. I don't like arguing. I don't like fussing, all that stuff. When things like that happen, it sort of takes the wind out of me a little bit. I am not um, a wimp or a punk or anything like that. I can go with the best of them, but I don't want to. I prefer not to have those type of moments because it, it takes, like I said, it takes a lot of wind out of me and it replaces my positive energy with just feeling defeated, especially since this is someone that I've always had to go back and forth with. I'm just, I'm just tired of the shit, to be honest. But we're going to pray for um, the situation to get better like I always do. But anyway, I'm not filming today. I just wasn't feeling it. I did put on my little Usher t-shirt and... I just finished my makeup, which looks crazy because I was doing it when the situation sort of started and I was going to do a whole 
you know, showing my outfit of the day because I, I was going to go to a Super Bowl party after the halftime show because I had to be alone for Usher. But my my energy is just not there. So it's okay. Um, so I'm going to close out this video. Thanks for watching, you guys. Remember to subscribe and like. And don't be turned off by this little segment because this is life here. I'm going to keep it a buck with you guys all the time. Um, I took me an ashwagandha. It made me a little, you know, Super Bowl sippy. And I'm just going to sit this one out. And I'm going to um, work real hard on not letting people, you know, mess with my energy, mess with my, my peace. But when you love people in your family and you care about them and, you you know, you're trying to help them and, you know, you sometimes you go through bumps to get where you guys need to be. So it's all good. But I'm going to sign off and thank you guys for watching Every Day, Fifi. Mm -hmm. <laughs>